Hi, my name is Tabisile Mahalimele. I'm coming from South Africa. Uh, the challenges that brought me here, first I wanted uh, spiritual empowerment. Yeah, I've been going through a lot of challenges, so I just wanted to be lifted up spiritually. And again, uh, my things were not going okay business-wise. Things were not going good, so I needed to seek uh, God's face, and I prayed and God led me to come and consult it all to see the man of God. Uh, my life, stagnation or, or a lot of setbacks that I've been facing in my life, spiritually attacks uh, and uh, delays. So that's why the, the reason that I came here to see the man of God. Oh, they've been affecting me a lot. They have been affecting me a lot. My life, it was... It was stagnant. Instead of moving forward, I feel like I'm moving. Instead of 10 steps forward, I feel like 10 steps backward. But I keep on praying, and I believe God that things have changed. Okay. Today I met uh, the Apostle. Firstly, he started telling me about uh, uh, the reason why I came here. He started telling me about my marriage that there are things that you are facing in my marriage, that the devil is using my marriage to make me sad. Uh, yes, we have a couple of challenges. Most of the time I know that when the enemy wants to attack me, he will use my marriage. And um, I confirm it, it's, it's, it's true. And uh, again, he, he spoke about uh, business because it's one of the things that it came here. Every time when I do business, at the edge of breakthrough, something will happen. So I know that there's, there's a spirit that scatters everything. If the business, maybe in two, in two months or in two weeks, something is supposed to happen to profit me, something will just collapse. And he told me that there's a spirit that scatter everything. So then the man of God, I confirm it again to be true. Then he prayed for me and he told me that it, God allowed some of the things uh, for a season just to prepare us for what is about to come. And so he just told me that the season of dryness, it was allowed by God. It's not like it's witchcraft or what, just to prepare me for what is about to come. And he told me that from now on, I'm, I'm entering into the season of fruitfulness. Uh, which I confirm it to be true because before I came here, as I said, I was seeking God's face and God said I must come here and he showed me a season and uh, that next day is going to be my year. So, but it was one of the assignments that I have to come uh, to see the man of God for spiritual uh, uh, upliftment uh, and impartation as well. He prayed for me for impartation that I must excel. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited and relieved and um, I thank God a lot that I believe and I, I thank even the man of God said you know when he saw me yesterday in the service he said the step that I took he knew that it's God that sent me here and he congratulate me for taking that step and I, I, I thank God as well for taking that step of obeying God to come here uh, and to get what I've received today. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm looking forward uh, to the blessings of the Lord. You say, have faith in God. Seek God's face. Uh, seek God's guidance. As the man of God has yes, uh, as been preaching or teaching us yesterday, said, when you're a child of God, you are filled with the Spirit of the Lord. You are guided. You are controlled. So be controlled by, by the Spirit of the Lord. Let God give you direction where to and how to do it. And again, wait for God's time. God's time is always the best. When you come to seek, uh, to see or to see the man of God and be prayed for, it doesn't do magic. It, it tells us what God is or, or what God is revealing to Him concerning our lives, and we have to wait and live according to the standard of of, of the wait. This is for our ministry. This is for our ministry. This is for our ministry. Jesus name.